I was watching another episode of Soft White Underbelly. Yeah. Uh, pops up on my right. I actually like stopped. Like, hey, don't recommend this into me. It's too like enticing to watch 30 minutes. There's a guy who uh he just he travels and stuff. Um yeah. And he was he was like uh and it's funny too because he had he had two kids but he like didn't raise them and he was like we have all this uh infrastructure for like homeless people but like where's all the infrastructure for like education and like kids and stuff to like build kids to not do that uh which i thought was ironic because he was an absentee father but mm. you know, i don't know his story uh but it, it uh, he made a very very solid point of like is you could put a lot of money into like preventing bad homes or like or broken homes with you know good education or or some some other thing of of raising people up in a in a nice way um that prevents a lot of drug or homelessness hmm yeah i don't know what the answer to that is i know a big i know a big thing about it is uh obviously obviously like parents that aren't together but like i don't know how you can necessarily prevent that Just make schools dope dude like yeah schools could be better like especially in la but there's like honestly dude there's a lot of there's a lot of programs like because i've i've worked there and i've seen it like the city puts a lot into resources i don't know if this is always the case but like now like there's this place downtown next to usc called um the expo center it's just this auditorium just full of activities like three pools basketball courts computers with the latest technology they have like a studio in there yeah it's like there's there's stuff to do and like the same thing with uh okay. hmm? and the same thing with like uh like the like homelessness mm -hmm. like people say la doesn't do anything like nah they're like there's there's programs because I've, I've worked in them like there's yeah. stuff to do like they can get haircuts there's like a lit i was literally working a job fair yesterday for the homeless and so it's not like the city's not doing anything so but i don't know the problem still persists so i don't know what the answer is yeah i think the education thing is a big part of it this this man's on the video was like you're you prevented by pouring into young people um and like the, the cool stuff isn't ingrained into like everyday public education like it's it's very there's there's a quote i was gonna make a little tidbit on it um by Sir Ken Robinson, imagination is the source of every form of human achievement, and it's the one thing that I believe we are systematically jeopardizing in the way we educate our children and ourselves. Um, meaning, public education is very systematic and not like exploratory. Mm. Or it doesn't even just like it like it's just very gray and and huddles you along. It doesn't make you like really think about stuff. <clears throat> um what is the answer um i say basic education until they're until they're 13 14 then when they're 13 14 ask them what they might consider doing no not even that ask them what they like to do with their time and if they say something it's like it's very rigid like oh i like to play basketball if they're four foot five, they're probably not going to be a basketball player, but maybe be like, Hey, maybe you should study sports business or something, you know, push them in that direction. 